Colin Powell, former Secretary of State and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, has died of complications from COVID-19. In a statement, his family said he was fully vaccinated. I want to take just a second to express my deepest condolences uh, to Alma, his wife, his son Michael, uh, and the entire Powell family. The 84-year-old repeatedly made history serving three Republican presidents. He was the first African-American chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff under President George H.W. Bush and the first black Secretary of State under President George W. Bush. The Army allowed me to climb on the shoulders of the Buffalo Soldiers and other African-Americans who had blazed the trail for 300 years of American history. And I hope the day will come soon when all parts of our society do for young minorities what the Army and the other armed services have been doing for young men and women of all color over the years. Born in 1937, Powell was the son of Jamaican immigrants and grew up in New York City. He served two tours during the Vietnam War. He then served as military assistant to high-level government officials and a stint as national security advisor to President Ronald Reagan. I've chosen a seasoned professional and Frank's right-hand man here at the White House, Lieutenant General Colin Powell. He also became a four-star general. As President George H.W. Bush's chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Powell helped guide the U.S. military to victory in the 1981 Persian Gulf War. As the Pentagon's top officer, he began the reshaping of American forces after the end of the Cold War. His famous prescription for the use of force, dubbed the Powell Doctrine, called for applying military might only with overwhelming and decisive troop strength, a clear objective and popular support. As Secretary of State under President George W. Bush, he had deep misgivings about the timing of the 2003 invasion of Iraq. But a key moment came at the United Nations when Powell asserted that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein is determined to keep his weapons of mass destruction. He's determined to make more. The United States will not and cannot run that risk to the American people. Leaving Saddam Hussein in possession of weapons of mass destruction for a few more months or years is not an option. Not in a post-September 11th world. He later said he regretted giving the speech. But a lot of people counted on you. I know. You changed the ball. I changed, I changed, I turned the dial. There's no yeah, question did. about it. And that's what the president wanted me to do and what I was supposed to do. You regret it. I regret it now because the information was wrong. Although Powell served three Republican presidents, he endorsed President Obama in 2008. He also became more outspoken during President Trump's term in office. We have a constitution. And we have to follow the Constitution. And the president's drifted away from it. During the 2020 election, he endorsed Democratic candidate Joe Biden. The values I learned growing up in the South Bronx and serving in uniform were the same values that Joe Biden's parents instilled in him in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I support Joe Biden for the presidency of the United States because those values still define him. Powell tended to avoid racial activism and often downplayed the portrayal of him as a symbol of black achievement but his groundbreaking roles inspired others. The world lost one of the greatest leaders that we have ever witnessed. Quite frankly, it is not possible to replace a Colin Powell. 